The Loud Jacket Man, a short story. Long had I stared at the photo, a man posing next to his obviously homemade projector, planetarium projector, indeed very homemade. He was wearing bright tweed. The Loud Jacket Man was he. It was an old black and white picture of whirligigs, what's-its, and unidentifiable devices, all there for a purpose, even though what that was didn't seem quite clear. But there was something else about the man that intrigued me. He wore that tweed, a rather loud version of it, in fact. Slowly but surely I drifted into obsession with this undated but obviously old picture. He wore bright tweed, the loud jacket man was he. I found myself wanting to recreate the scene. I began building a replica of his impossible projecting device with old planetarium parts. I kept going until I had what I thought was a reasonable facsimile of his device. I recreated even the background of what appeared to be a silo-like dome behind it. The man in the picture was pointing a long slender device up on the dome, I recreated this as well, but there was one more thing. I needed that tweed jacket. I, a trip to a local thrift store did the trick. After shuffling through countless old sport jackets on their musty racks, I finally found one that fit the bill reasonably. It was loud. It would look about right in the photo recreation I now planned. The night I actually took the picture, I carefully set the scene. I'd have to put my digital camera on manual exposure in the dark, then take my place in the recreated scene next to the reconstructed projector, holding the pointer, and then hit a foot switch to light the scene and do a quick exposure. When all was ready, my foot hit the switch, and something occurred at that instant that I still cannot process. Something similar to lightning. There seemed to be a glass partition between me and the world. I could not move but was frozen in place. I had replaced the man on the wall. I could not get out. Was that a dark figure I saw leaving the room? Was he wearing my clothes? And there I hung, trapped on the wall, wearing bright tweed. The loud jacket man was me. Thank you for listening.